to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing. It's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Jane, Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us. A fine how do you do to you? Doing fantastic. Nice. We are here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day in our neighborhood. Getting lots of work done. Had a great event last night. We did. Every, oh. every month we host a, well actually we host a couple networking events during the month and if you want to follow us and get involved check out our our calendar our public calendar at that way you put on meetup uh so if you're on meetup meetup.com slash experience pros you can find all of our events that we've got going on you can also check out our calendar on our own website yep. experiencepros.com but it was incredible incredible group of of folks showing up and you know during the summer numbers tend to tend to decrease at, sure. at a lot of activities in fact i was chatting with somebody who does, he has a, I can't remember what his target audience was, but I think it was, it was a dentist or chiropractors or I can't remember exactly, but he said he, you know, they do their marketing for them, but he could never get them for three years in a row, could never really get them to meet with him during the summer oh. to work on their marketing plans. And, but come, come September, everybody was back rocking and rolling. Sure. So he learned that the summer is when this group of, of professionals just kind of puts on the hiatus. I think a lot of business professionals put on the hiatus. I, I don't know how. I don't know but, either but because do. it happens twice a year. Yeah. It happens in the summer. Yep. And it happens over the holidays. Correct. And, and what ends up happening to your momentum is you kill it. You kill the momentum. And then you get frustrated because it takes 90 days to gain momentum back up. Whatever you're doing today is going to show up in, in 90 days, not, not tomorrow. Not, not tomorrow. <laughs> right. right. And so, and so you, you stall the momentum. Yeah. Right. And then you start over again. And like Eric said, it takes about 90 days. Well, you know what happens at about 70 days, you know, the 70th day? You're burnt out. Yep. You're frustrated. You feel like you're always chasing. And so then it starts to pick up and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, business, business, business. And it's good and it's great. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here and, comes summer. Got to take the got to take the summer off. And Me you, and my customers aren't there anymore. And you and you repeat the the process. And so then September comes, you're back in. You're just, yeah. And then you're getting really frustrated around the end of October. But November, business is back and booming again. And then what do you do in December? You take it off. And you repeat this poor pattern for business success. And really what you're doing is you're treating your business like a hobby. Right. Uh, you know, look at the marketing resources that are being done by successful companies. How are they marketing to you during the summer? Did they stop? I don't think so. No, of course not. In fact, not. if you notice, they've probably even upped it just a little bit. Why? Days are longer. You're out in your car, so you're That's likely right. to listen to more radio advertising. You're out and about, so you see more bus stop signs and park benches and and uh, you know trucks going down the highway. You're out and about, and your visibility to you know the opportunity to be more visible increases over the summer. And the bigger companies know this. Now, here's the thing: is you can put a lot of it on autopilot. You can do a lot of it, plan it in advance, so you're not. Stuck inside, you know, at your desk on a beautiful summer day. You can sure. actually be outside and enjoying it. Take those long lunches with with clients and power partners and vendor partners. Take advantage of, of what the summertime brings to you, but don't put it on hold. Also, uh, I host a women's group that meets uh, once a month as well. Small attendance, uh, obviously, this month. And man, did they miss out because we had an incredible speaker who really? came in. And, and she's she's been in Forbes magazine. She's in demand all across the country. And we had her at our ladies who lunch this month. And and so the gals that got to be there, she does she does a hand hand analysis, and like not like uh, kind of like palm reading, kind but of, scientific. Yeah, but don't say palm reading. Well, I was just trying to right. help you guys help yeah. you kind of I'm, like I'm make it picking up what you're laying down, make an attachment. Mm -hmm. Not, but you know she she looks at the lines in your fingerprints on your hand. Yep. And she says that the science behind it is that every line in your hand matches up with the like the neurons in your brain. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, does anybody 
Do you know anybody who went through it? Well, so she did a quick little, you know, three minute uh, quickie on a couple of us gals. I raised my hand immediately. Oh, she didn't pick me immediately. Oh. Uh, she's like, anybody whose birthday is. And I'm like, oh, that's going to be me. She's like close to October 14th. Must have been hers. Either, and uh, well, either that, or that was the, the one that she memorized. Anyway, so uh, but I did get a quick little analysis about oh, you did. about, you know, your heart line, your lifeline and. And, and the whole idea behind what she does with the, with her analysis, her, her hand analysis is to help you find what you're most passionate about and, and kind of maybe even what your derailers are. And one of the things that she told me, she says, um, she says, you don't really have a gift for writing, but you probably should write and, but probably more like self-help books and, and nonfiction and. And so everybody in the room laughed because, of course, we've written Seven Lists That Save My Life, yeah, Lists yeah. That Save My Business. Right. No novels, um, but all all practical, hands-on help. Uh, but one of the things that she told me about my courage, she says, my courage line runs from the top of my palm to the bottom of my palm. And she's like, you Whoa. got it. Whoa. You've got it. And she says, and so here's. Yeah. So not only does she tell you kind of your strength, but then she tells you what your weakness is, because oh. when you know your weakness, you can work on it. It's action step. OK. And, and so when you see it show up, you recognize it and you can work and put some action against it. So what is your and weakness so the, besides ice cream? So so two things. Uh, she did not mention my ice cream. Oh, you must have licked it off before. she. Um, two things. One, she says not stepping into my courage is is one of them. But she says also she says I I tend to. um uh, because um, I want to advocate for for others who um, um, don't have, you know, don't you know, feel like they haven't been given a break, and so um, it can derail me when I'm, you know, I stop having courage for myself and want to be an advocate for somebody else. I see that. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was kind of interesting. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, and that was just you know, in a quick little little three minute analysis. But I have courage. So, you know, I, I could, I could play the, the, is it the scarecrow? Who no, it's the lion. The lion. I could play the lion Oof. in, in uh, Wizard of Oz. All right. Well, uh, your hashtag, uh, hashtag kindness act of the day is don't give up. It's really the kindness act for yourself and all those surrounding you. Don't give up today. Uh, cause you may be very well close to that breakthrough that gets you, uh, right where you need to be in your business. You know, if, you have, if you don't normally read biographies of successful people, you should, because especially as an entrepreneur, because you're going to read how often they were at the verge of giving up and how, how often they tried something and failed. It didn't work out. How, just how often they had to restart and, and try again. And, and because I think so often when we have a, a setback, a challenge, or even, somebody who rejects us or turns our business down. Sure. We take it very personally. Oh yeah. And of course you get one of those, two of those, 10 of those and 30 of those. And you think how much more can I possibly take before I catch on that? I'm not supposed to be doing this. And maybe that's not what you're supposed to be catching on to. Maybe each one of those is a chance to grow and learn and develop either your product or you. You know, I think a lot of times those those challenges are because we have to work on something inside of us that's preparing us for something bigger. So don't shy away from the challenges and don't even think of them as, as really your answer to to quit. Look at where look at what you can learn from it. Yeah, absolutely. If, if you take every opportunity, every problem, you know, I've, I've said for years, I believe that problems are nothing more than opportunities for solutions. And, and so to look at it from that perspective, much healthier, much more uh, inclined to give you success rather than uh, woe is me and uh, I can't do anything. Got to go eat some worms. Go eat some worms. No, it's a camp speaker. I mean, I can't help it. Is that a, is that a camp thing? Yeah, yeah. Nobody loves me. Everybody hates me. I think I'll eat some worms. It's a song. Oh, I thought it was a poem from well, like Elizabeth maybe, Barrett Brown. Might be a challenge or something. Or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was. Right? Hmm. We sang it at camp. You sang it at camp. Yeah, yeah that's why you're so sing songy all the time because you grew up. Kind of, you I, grew up in the camp atmosphere. Yeah, that I did. I, I for many many years uh, performed at least 15 camps every single summer. So I was camped out mm -hmm. by the time uh, summer got done. But but there was no quitting during the summer. 
No, we're no, that's more. when that's when all hands on deck, right? Summertime, that's when they need you the most. Absolutely. All right, gang. Well, we're going to take a quick break. And uh, when we come back, we've got a great show lined up for you. So don't go anywhere. This is the home of positive business talk. If you'd like more information about us, how we can help your business grow, even accelerate your growth. Check us out at experiencepros.com. It's experiencepros.com. And we'll be back right after these messages. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Do you have kiddos? Eric Raymer here, inviting you to the grand opening of Kid to Kid in North Glen, Thursday, July 27th. They'll have huge prizes, balloon art, and a shopping spree giveaway. Kid to Kid is a family-friendly resale shop selling new and gently used clothes and toys. Doors open at 4 p.m. with items up to 80% off during the grand opening. Kid to Kid is located in North Glen off I-25 and 104th next to Dollar Tree on Melody Drive. Keep our schedule full, seasonal incentives? Oh, yeah. Hi, Dan Cicchini, Dunright Home Improvements. Now is the time to call and save a full 12% off all services for select install dates. 800-362-8370 or drhi.com. It's me, your heart. High blood pressure is serious, and I can quit whenever I want. Just treat me better. After all, we're in this together. To get your high blood pressure to a healthy range, visit heart.org slash blood pressure. A message from the American Heart Association and the Ad Council. The IRS doesn't mess around. If they want your money, they'll take it. They can take your paycheck and bank accounts, too. Even threaten your home or business. And it's about to get worse. The IRS just hired an army of new tax enforcers. So, if you owe back taxes, the smartest thing you can do is call Optima Tax Relief. Optima has access to a special IRS tax assistance program called the Fresh Start Initiative. And their clients that qualify are saving thousands, even tens of thousands. One call starts the process to stop the demand letters, stop aggressive collection actions, and stop that army of new enforcers from targeting you. But don't delay. It's important to act now while you still have options. Optima is A-rated with the Better Business Bureau. Optima has already resolved over a half billion dollars of tax debt for their clients. Get your life back. Call now for your free consultation. Call 800-711-5743. 800-711-5743. 800-711-5743. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit Optima Tax Relief. You never planned on getting injured in an accident. You don't know where to turn. Call Boson Law. When you meet with John Boson, you'll know right away you've made the right decision. John will put you at ease and explain the whole process start to settlement. They'll handle medical bills, work directly with the insurance company, and help you get back on your feet. John and his whole staff are amazing. If your whole world has been turned upside down, Boson Law will help turn it right side up. It starts with a free consultation, no money out of the pocket, and Boson Law only gets it's paid when they win your case. If you're hurt, the call is easy, and their number is too. Call Boson Law at 303-999-9999. 303-999-9999. 303-999-9999. Or visit bosonlaw.com. That's B-O-E-S-E-N law.com. Call Boson Law, 303-999-9999. Or visit bosonlaw.com. That's B-O-E-S-E-N law. Com. This is Dan Kaplis. Our firm is dedicated to always being on the leading edge of the practice of personal injury law. That includes game-changing, next-generation technology, nationally respected experts, and innovative visual tools that help us bring our client's case to life for the purposes of settlement or, if necessary, trial. We only accept a limited number of cases, so we're able to devote to each client our full arsenal of technology, skilled attorneys, and staff. We are a serious firm for serious cases, and we make the vast resources of our firm available to good people from all walks of life by taking righteous cases on a percentage fee basis. If you'd like to talk with me about your case, just give me a call or email me through our website. There's no charge for an initial consultation. 303-770-5551, 303-770-5551, or dancaplislaw.com. That's dancaplislaw.com.
This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of positive business talk. Thank you for tuning in. All right, Angie, you ready? We got a big decision to make. Oh, oh. let's pull out the big decision maker. Yeah, we do. We have a good decision making All tool. Right. Are you hold, ready? Hold it up for the uh, camera to see. There it is. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Oh, oh. I, my, I pulled the trigger oh, yeah, too you soon. Did. Right? right? We haven't been making any decisions lately, but that is often how <laughs> Eric and I make decisions on which one of us has has to move forward. But here's the thing: you think about. Uh, when top executives, you know, what it takes to reach their top, you know, their top positions, it's usually hard work, intelligence, it, but really the number one attribute that sets leaders apart is their ability to make decisions. Our guest is Tim Luco. He says many leaders and companies climb the ladder of responsibility through a set of competencies that when they get to own a PL or become the CEO, a lot of times they're rusty and they've never been given the right set of tools. So Tim Luco wrote the book, Making Big Decisions Better, How to Set and Simplify Business Strategy. Tim Luco, welcome to Experience Pros. Oh, good afternoon, uh, and thanks for the invitation to uh, speak with you today. Tim, very nice having you on the program. Uh, you say that strategy is a decision-making process. What, what, what do you mean by that? Well, uh, at the end of the day, uh, companies, all companies, despite the size, have to wrestle with what products to offer, what markets to serve, and what to invest in for their scarce resources. And they have to make those decisions, and they need criteria, and they need options, and they all know that, but they typically don't have a process, and this is what the book talks about. You know, I think oftentimes the process is, well, what have we done before? How much money do we have and what do we want to do now? Right. Is that, am I even close? Uh, it's true. It's uh, at the end of the day, companies are looking for what we're about and where we're going and why. And so if you're in a room with many executives who are wrestling with that, the intent is there, but there's difference of opinions um, or different ways to look at the business. And literally they're not on the same page. And by having a process that says, what's the criteria? How are we going to look at this? They begin to understand where they're, aligned and where they're not, and then they can move forward. All right. Well, Tim, break it down for us, because your book covers uh, the, the strategy revolving around three large large decisions. What what are those large decisions that every executive probably should uh, keep in the front of their minds? Well, the three decisions, uh, despite any types of uh, articles, books, or things on strategy you want to read, is, as I mentioned before, is they have to talk through the products is decision number one, products to offer, not offer. And that, again, Eric applies to services. Uh, the second big decision is markets, and that can be geographies or customers uh, or a combination of that. And then finally, how to actually serve the products to the markets, that's capabilities. That's whether it's people skills, um, technology, whatever. And those three things simplify strategy because at the end of the day, that is the heart of what they must wrestle with. Mm. All right. You know, my son, he, uh, when he was 17, he ended up getting a job where he was working weekends. And so he missed out on a lot of the activities in his junior and senior year. And he had to, it was like, he finally learned this whole idea of having to make decisions. He really had never had to make any decisions that had had any other consequences before that. And I think that that for a lot of us, we never really get the chance to make decisions as we're going up the corporate ladder, most things are already decided for us. And so then by the time we get the chance to even make a decision, one, we don't have a strategy. Sure. And and two, I mean, I think we're just kind of going with our gut behind it and think that think that that's how all that's how all decisions are usually made. Um, how often do you think that CEOs really use a strategy and really implement that? And what's what why why is it so much better? Well, I think I'd actually go back to your example about your son is uh, what we see in, in organizations is uh, the CEO communication comes out that says we are going to China or we're doing this. And people get, if you will, handed their instructions. And despite the level, they always ask the natural question. So why are we doing this? Right. And where do I fit in? And how can I help? And they many times they say, just do your work. 
And so the difference, again, in terms of making decisions, and I think it's a key point, is the best companies we work with, they equip their employees or their executives with criteria. So if you have criteria, then you can actually make your own choices or choices that are reflective of the organization. Uh, and I don't use the word a lot, but it really empowers people. So rather than saying do X, they said they'll say move forward with these activities along these criteria. And people can, in fact, then be part of something uh, and they're empowered to actually move forward with what's important to the company. So by cri- and we by, just, I'm sorry, Tim, but by criteria, you're talking about the, uh, the, the principles or standards against which we will judge whether or not it, it was accomplished. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's, the, it's what the alternatives, whether it's products, markets, or investments, what it depends on. And Eric, where this kind of gets lost in translation, which can be really helpful, is they say, well, it can't be that kind of product market capability and criteria. Well, it is that simple. If you get people in the room, they'll say, well, we know we need to make more money. That's profitability. And I say, absolutely. How do you measure profitability? And there's usually one or two people in the room that roll their eyes at me and they say, well, profit, profit. Well, is it EBITDA? Is it percentage? Is it, is it? And they look around the room, they have six different answers. Right. And they, it kind of dawns on them that, okay, the intent uh, is right, but we're really not talking about the same thing. So we clear that up and then give them tools, in fact, that they can actually use. Simple, focused, uh, and they can make decisions and engage that in the company. Well, I like it. The book is called Making Big Decisions Better. Tim Luco, how do you want our listeners to follow you? Uh, we have a website. I have a website, Tim Luco, T-I-M-L-E-W-K-O dot com. Uh, they can go there to get a very uh, brief overview of all the chapters. Um, and there's tools on there and things that they can actually use. And I probably kind of end by saying, um, having done this for 20 years, uh, the book is designed to be 100 pages, not because I didn't have enough to say, but because if you can't say it simply, you're probably not going to use it. But they can go to that website, and it's a good start to, uh, whether you're a CEO or the manager of coming, have a set of tools that uh, will equip you to make and understand strategy. I, I love it, and I love the advice that you just said. If you can't say it in 100 words or 100 pages, uh, they're probably too complicated. Uh, well, well done. The book again, Making Big Decisions Better. Get your copy. Share it with anyone in your organization who will uh, benefit from that. Tim, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate you. Okay, my pleasure, and I uh, look forward to speaking with you again. Sounds All great. Ready. Sounds great. You know, and I do, you'll notice that the size of the book is, is, it is simple. And for somebody to take everything that he knows, all the over the on the product, or, you know, on the concept, and narrow that down into a hundred pages for you. I just want to say thank you, yeah, you Tim know, Luco. Uh, it, it's concentrated for your benefit, uh, and I think that's that's a good thing all the way around. All right, gang. Uh, thank you for our friends who are watching by way of our Facebook Live. Do us a favor, share the show if you would. Let us, let other people know that this is going on. We'll be back right after these messages. Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, you are listening to the Experience Bros Radio Network. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. Thank you. Okay, all right.
Neither do we. So, take Denver's Money Talk 1690 AM with you with our brand new mobile app. Stay up to the minute with breaking news, market strategies, current trends, and more wherever you are with live streaming. Listen to your favorite Money Talk shows whenever you want on demand. It's like a personal advisor in your pocket. We'll thank you for download the brand new Money Talk app on iTunes or the Google Play Store or at MoneyTalk1690.com. Want to know what's next in the political scene, both locally and nationally? Tune into the AmeriChicks on your drive home every weekday from 5 to 6 p.m. and share your opinions. The AmeriChicks, with hosts Kim Monson and Molly Vogt, encourage open discussion on today's issues and focus on right versus wrong instead of left versus right. Tune into Denver's only female-hosted call-in show on your drive home. The AmeriChicks air every weekday evening at 5 p.m. right here on 1690 AM KDMT. Denver's Money Talk, sponsored in part by the Western Conservative Summit, July 21st through July 23rd. Get your tickets today. If you're sick of living paycheck to paycheck, listen up. This is Preston Neely, and I'm about to blow your mind. You want to know the big difference between you and the rich? It's not your job. It's not your skills. It's not your education. Here's the truth. Rich people make money in real estate, and it's not rocket science. Let me prove it by sending you a free copy of my smash hit selling book, How to Get Rich in Real Estate. Just call 1-800-700-2962. I used to be so broke. I had my electricity shut off nine times, but I figured out a simple way to make money in real estate that doesn't require any cash. I'm living the dream, and I can show you how. Listen, here's the other thing about rich people. They don't pass up the deal of a lifetime, and neither should you. My book sells online for $19.95, but I'm giving away free copies now. Call right now to find out how to get your free copy while this offer lasts. Call 1-800-700-2962. That's 1-800-700-2962. 1-800-700-2962. With the hot weather in Denver, there's no reason to wait for your AC to break down. Don't need to replace, just repair. Steel T Heating and Air Conditioning will waive the trip fee with any qualifying repair. That's a $70 savings. Let them help you be more comfortable in your home than you've ever been before and save money while doing it. Steel T is a family-owned business with over 50,000 satisfied customers. They're the largest factory-authorized carrier dealer and the only Hall of Fame dealer in Colorado. Turn to the experts and call Steel T Heating and Air Conditioning now at 303-761-WARM or visit SteelT.com. Remember, the T stands for trust. Let the professionals from Steel T inspect your system and pinpoint minor issues quickly before they graduate into more extensive damage, disruption, and expense. Call Steel T Heating and Air Conditioning now and receive up to 60 months at 0% interest for qualifying air conditioning replacements. Turn to the experts at Steel T. Emergency assistance 24 hours a day, 7... And Dove Men Plus Care users recommend it. Here's what they said. It blocks the, you know, respiration. I think it's the pants work. It's comfortable. Uh, it smells nice. My girl likes the smell. It's, it's, uh, it's hard. Worst thing at the gym. It's kind of like the Hoover Dam from armpits, I guess. Dove Men Plus Care antiperspirant. Tough on sweat, not on skin. This is Charles Osgood. Small business never stops moving. So Dove is you. That's based small business up. Just call Ooh, your business and tailor a solution with Dell PCs powered by Intel Core processors that is right for you. So you can focus on your business and leave the tech questions to Dell. Call 877 by Dell to get in touch with a tech advisor today. <laughs> The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Dragon Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a Fan Dragon story of great customer service by using the hashtag Fan Brag or calling the Fan Dragon Hotline at 855 Fan Brag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, The Experience Pros. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you for tuning in. 
this is going to be an interesting conversation since uh, it's timely and relevant with something you've recently got into. I just went scuba diving for the first time on my last trip to Mexico, and it was quite it's quite the adventure. And I didn't think I'd be able to do it in my own hometown in Denver, right? We're kind of landlocked here. But our guest is David Reidenbach, or Big Wave Dave. He's the pool tour coordinator for the Go Dive Now Pool. And the Go Dive Now Pool is a year-long tour that travels the country, stopping at two- and three-day large-scale venues. They have a portable setup with a 15,000-gallon pool. It's logged over 800,000 worldwide miles. It's traveled through as it's traveled through the United States, Canada, Mexico, and Singapore. And to date, over 250,000 people have had the unique ability to be introduced to and experience scuba diving virtually in their own backyard. The whole point is to raise awareness of the dive industry, introduce people into the diving world in a non-threatening environment, and get a taste for exploring the other two-thirds of the world underwater. Big Wave Dave, welcome to Experience Bros. Hey. Uh, scuba, that's one of those things that uh, I think so many people are uh, just completely unaware of what's involved. That many people don't even know that it is a, a an act. Well, I'll go back to the old days. It would be self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. All right. But, so, uh, you know, most people just think about just scuba now because, it's, you know, let's get a tank and go underwater and go diving and not. You know, Colorado, you've got one of the, I guess, the top training states in the United States because, you know, you've got the great lifestyle in your backyard. You can ski, you can kayak, you can mountain bike any day. So when you go on a little vacation, like down in Mexico or maybe Cayman Islands, you want to do something down there, and why not dive? I heard that Denver actually has one of the largest population of divers. Have you heard that to be somewhat true? Yes, yeah, because, again, because you're in a place where people don't have to Going to get totally different. Okay, so how how did this come to be that you decided to take a big giant swimming pool across the country and 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 teach people how to dive? Well, this whole concept started uh, almost twenty years ago, basically at a big air show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and we came up with the idea and launched it. And now it's been all over the United States, and it's, it's been probably like our fifth time in Denver. We've got it all set up and filling right here at the downtown aquarium. Well, we're amazed by what you're doing, and it is uh, remarkable. I am uh, also in- incredibly impressed by the fact that we know so little about what is under the sea. You know, we, we have uh, a pretty decent grasp on what's above, you know, on the land side of things, but so much is so unexplored. We're finding new uh, species and so on uh, under the water every day. Isn't that true, Dave? Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, the world itself is basically 70% water. So rather than go out of space to look for things, why don't we spend more time looking in the water, you know, finding uh, things underwater that can maybe help our everyday life. I, I love your style of asking questions. Well, why not do that? Mm-hmm. Wait, okay, uh, I'll, I'll bite uh, great white sharks. <laughs> great white sharks, well, I mean, people do dive with them. Um, people are usually thinking about going in a cage because you're, you're coming to water, making them more, more aggressive, but. I know several people that actually swam with them without a cage. If you don't, if you don't, you know, get them aggressive by coming to the water, they're very docile. People oh. shark dive all the time. I mean, you can come to the aquarium and go shark diving every day. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, I know we were invited to come and dive. You said we could actually broadcast underwater. How would we have done that? Well, we've got a special a set of equipment. Um, called Ocean Technology System. And basically, uh, your SEAL teams use this for some recovery divers. Uh, There's a full-face mask that has a microphone built into it so we can actually talk underwater. Wow. To each other or to... Anyway, well, we're here for the weekend. We're, we're in the process of filling it right now, so we'll be open Saturday and Sunday. Nice. Um, bring your swimsuit and towel. The water's going to be in the 80, and I know there's going to be... If people try diving, there's going to be some specials at the aquarium. Hey, this weekend starts Shark Week. 
Oh, that's right. That's right, yeah. Okay, so where do our listeners find your schedule? We have we broadcast your life from Denver, but the show reaches other other states as well. So how do we find your schedule? GoDiagonow.com. I we'll have uh, all my schedule for upcoming shows uh, coming up. Just off hand, I'll be in South Dakota, Kentucky, and Connecticut. South Dakota, Kentucky, Connecticut, and uh, you got to catch Big Big Wave Dave and uh, go check out the uh, the dive. What, what's the expense involved with uh, somebody who wants to take one of these classes? We'll do very across the United States, but it could be a, about three to five hundred dollars. Um, you know, it'll be really done over two weekends. In fact, you could do your classroom pool and the aquarium itself. You could do your first two training dives at. So, so did you get certified in Mexico or just do like a? We just a did a discovery class? dive. Well, you should definitely get in, get involved with diving. You can dive in the aquarium here and then uh, head out on a vacation. You know, there are several places to dive right here in Colorado for training some of the reservoirs. Uh, the Duke Peak go down to New Mexico to Santa Rosa. I mean, uh, it was, we've gone a couple of times. I never even looked at it. And then all of a sudden, it, there was somebody there in the pool that was just kind of doing a, a quick little thing in the pool. And then we got to go out into the ocean. It was, yeah, it is an amazing world underwater. And Eric's right. There's so much that's un, untapped and unexplored. Oh, You're both right. But, and, and so if you're at all interested right now, you're in Denver through the weekend and people can sign up and come in and dive with you this weekend. Yeah. And it's totally free. We're right outside the aquarium. So I don't have, you know, we'd like to have them visit the aquarium, but uh, just bring your suit and towel and uh, we'll get you in the water from 10 to 5 on Saturday and 10 to 4 on Sunday. And it's totally free. That it's perfect. Love that all the way around. Uh, Big Wave Dave, thank you so much for inspiring our listeners here in the Denver area and all across the country uh, and for what you're doing. It makes a lot of sense, and we're grateful for you. Appreciate it. Well, get a chance this weekend. Come out yourself, and we can call the station or yeah. record you. Uh, absolutely. What, a, what, a, what an exciting uh, program he's got going on, and uh, you, you should go down there. I, I should go down there. Yeah. But why do you? Are you afraid of that? I mean, you're 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 a surfer. You're like a you're like a a beach boy. I was a beach bum, uh, mm-hmm. and, and I was a surfer. Um, I'm not afraid. But I think you should do that. You think I should do yeah, that? Yeah. I did. I, you know what? I'll tell you what. I was afraid. If any of you, any of our listeners remember my experience when we were in Mexico in April, uh, it took me, you know, the first day just under the water, it just, in my head, I just was freaked out about it. So I had to go back the second day to do, the, just, just do the pool portion of it. And, um, and then when I finally got out to the ocean, Yeah. In, uh, yeah. in the traverse, it was, it was pretty amazing. It so, was, so. but it but it wasn't without, it, it was just different, and I've never done before. And they said, you know, my issue, she says, it's in your head. It's true. Because you're not used to being able to breathe and function and, underwater. And they have redundant safety procedures, uh, including the uh, the Oh, yeah, the, nothing the was going wrong. Yeah, yeah. It was just me thinking, just I don't think I want to do this anymore. <laughs> and so I just stood up in the pool. <laughs> I'm done. And she's like, no. No, 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 you're <laughs> not. You're big and actually, and the trainer was super, super patient. But what a neat experience. And so if you've ever wanted to try it, go go divenow.com is their website. Traveling all across the country. And uh, you probably even have someplace local in your in your hometown where they do some diving. I know here in Colorado, we have a lot of different places that will uh, train you in diving. And we do, we have a huge amount of people that love to, to scuba dive. You know, and, and then once you get that certification, you can go, you know, what do they call it? Spel- not spelunking, but uh, in the caves, cave diving, uh, there's all kinds of really cool stuff. And What's spelunking? Spelunking is uh, walking through caves, going through caves. It's called spelunking. Spelunking. Have you, do you, have you done that? Yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But not really wanting see, to do the scuba diving yeah, thing. I, I've done the scuba diving thing. I oh, actually, oh. I, I've, I've, I've strapped on a tank. It, was, it wasn't legal. I wasn't certified. Well, I wasn't certified. No, I had a friend. Oh. <laughs> it, oh. It, was, it was really illegal what, what, what I did. Uh, it was a long time ago. Statute of Limitations is up, folks. And so is our time for this segment. 
We'll be back right after these messages. Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, you can read that look. This is the home of positive business talk. We've got underwater diving. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Victor Mitchell, our kind of guy for government. On day one, I plan to effectively deal with more than 2,500 regulated businesses in Colorado. I've been a career problem solver and entrepreneur, and I think the challenges that are facing our state require a different type of leadership, a bigger, bolder type of leadership, an innovator, a problem solver. Vic wants to sharpen the focus on science, technology, engineering, and math studies to prepare students for today's modern economy. I believe we need an entire overhaul of our regulatory system in Colorado so more people can earn more money for their families and enter into new professions. We only graduated about one in every four students here in Colorado from the state university with a degree in STEM. Electrical and mechanical engineering are some of the highest cost degrees to obtain. We need to make those degrees the least expensive. These are jobs that start at $80,000 up to $130,000 on day one. Forward thinking, bold leadership, less regulation. That's Vic. Paid for by Coloradans for Victor Mitchell. Need a new CPAP? Then we need you. We're CPAP.com, and we recently overstocked the world's best CPAP machines. Top-of-the-line devices from brands like ResMed and Philips Respironics. Call now and get one of these overstocked CPAPs for a fraction of the price. We'll even give you free next-day air shipping. Call 1-800-900-6135. The best part? No insurance needed. We're giving out these CPAPs at prices so low, they'll cost less than your copay and deductible through insurance. CPAP.com. effective sleep apnea equipment at incredibly low prices. Again, CPAP.com has overstocked premium CPAPs. Call now to get a ResNet or Philips Respironics machine for a fraction of the price with free next day air shipping. Call 1-800-900-6135. If lines are busy, please try again. That's 1-800-900-6135. Celebrating 18 years as the leader in investing and trading education. Following your system has been fantastic. Yeah, I really appreciate the work you do. You're, you're really an inspiration. Well, all of the tools you've put together for us have just given us so much confidence. I have learned so much. It is absolutely incredible. You're really one of the best I've ever heard. I've been with you for about a month and a half now, and I'm already up 7%. Financial education is, in many respects, the most important education you can get, and that's what they're getting from your show. You guys have always been great on the service side. I have so much more confidence in what I'm in my trading. Till keep up the good work. I love the chart. I've been in this business for 45 years and you are the best. And I've been following you, I guess, about nine months right now, and you've just done a great job. Look the bill, join the gang, and you'll never regret it. If you're serious about securing your financial future, then contact philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. The boys of summer are here with in-depth coverage on the Orioles, the Blue Jays, and Cardinals here in the Rockies. Well, not Cardinals. But if you want the play-by-play and the bird's eye lowdown on these and more wild birds, tune in to Bird Talk on 1690 KDMT, Saturdays from noon to 1. You don't need to make folks think we're a sports show just to get their attention. In Colorado, 60% of the population feeds and watches outdoor wildlife. Bird Talk is presented by Wild Birds Unlimited, the original backyard bird feeding specialist. To learn more about the 500 species of Colorado birds, tune in to Bird Talk every Saturday. We'll bring you interesting interviews, the latest news, and lots of fun and entertainment. Call in with your questions, and we'll help you create the best backyard wildlife habitat to attract the greatest variety of species. We hope you'll join us for the best nature show in the known universe, Saturdays at noon for Bird Talk on KDMT, presented by Wild Birds Unlimited. Until then, happy birding. Hi, this is Orrin, owner of Absolutely Captain. Since 1989, I've sold aristocrat cabinets for kitchens and baths, and they have proven year in and year out to be a great dollar value. With Aristocraft, you can buy the level of cabinetry you feel comfortable with in regard to construction. If you want all the features without making a decision, I sell Decora, which is a semi-custom line of cabinets with small wood fronts, dovetail drawers, full extension glides, and soft.
over the years. Go visit Orange Showroom at 5940 West 38th Avenue near the corner of Harlan and 38th Avenue. Or give them a call at 303-425-5592. That's 303-425-5592. Or visit AbsolutelyCabinets.com. New store hours are 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday and 8 to noon on Fridays. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros radio show. It is positive business talk. You're feeling pretty positive out there. The sun is shining and life is uh, life is just rolling during the summer. It can feel like you just can't seem to get it all done, though. I think summertime, we think, okay, it's going to you know, a little bit slower with activities, a little bit slower with, uh, you know, all the stuff that's going on, like you don't have your kids in school. I always think that, okay, we don't have to get them out for school in the morning. We don't have to deal with homework and schedules and all that. It's just going to be a little bit easier during the summer. It's not. It's never. It's not. <laughs> um, so I was looking up some just time management practices for uh, highly productive leaders. Help me. Well, here's what here's what here's what most people are saying. You know, kind of most experts when it comes to time time management and being more productive. Yep. Is they're saying that we are that life isn't moving faster and we're not busier and there isn't necessarily more. We are doing this to ourselves. We do it. We've seen the enemy and it's mm-hmm. us. Yeah. It's not so much that there's more on our plates than before or that generations before us. I don't know if I agree with that because I don't think anybody else had to deal with this technology being 24 seven at our fingertips. And so I think that, uh, I don't necessarily agree that there's less on our plate or that there's not any more. But he says that, nope, we just haven't learned how to prioritize and to set values and create vision for ourselves. What's our big plan? What's our big goal? And so uh, here's a here's a set seven. It's all between the ears. It starts with our heads. It's It's, all between the ears. It starts with what we think about and and what we think about being busy and all of that. He says, when you allow your time, your mind to be consumed with worry, doubt, fear, anger, guilt, any of these, you know, sitting in, (laughs) right? Petty grievances, resentment. You take your focus off your goals and you don't achieve as much as you want. I came in the office the other day and I was was just rattling all of these things off to Eric. And, And he said, yeah, I've got all these, like, tabs open but in my brain right. in my head right and and even today i was rattling off some things to you yeah and eric says angel you might want to close off some yeah. of those tabs I, I, I don't think we're going to uh, relay the mc live tomorrow <laughs> And around yourself and just think about, okay, if, if that was what my life looked like, you know, this success that I want to have, and maybe it's in business or what you want your family life to look like or your personal time. If this is what it, if, if I achieve what I want it to look like, what does my day look like? Right. And, and so what is the day of, uh, you know, so Darren Hardy did a thing. He talked about, you know, got to be careful what you wish for. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, you know, he talked about Sir Richard Branson. And, and you, can you imagine what a day is like for somebody like Sir Richard Branson, who owns multiple companies? He has tons of people working for him. And at the time, this was one of those things that Darren Hardy wanted to achieve. He's sure. like, I want to be like that guy. Right. Right. That guy's made it. He's Set acquired. Right. Like he's, he's what I want to follow. And then he started paying attention to Sir Richard Branson's life. And he's like, at any given time, he has like 17 lawsuits, lawsuits going on because of all the different companies and all the different things he's got going on. Now, he's got a team and they all handle that and it's all dealt with. But Darren Hardy thought, oh, my gosh, right. I could not handle that. That is not Zen for me. <laughs> so when we think about developing the goal and what we want that to look like, also, what is the picture of our day? And 
are if if we don't have the time now to do the things that we want to get done now, sure. And our business grows and we have success in another area or even if in, you know, we add another person because maybe you want to change your relationships. You want to add another person to the mix. Where do you think you're going to find time for that? Right. If you can't get a grip on where you're at right now. So he says, control your thoughts about how you spend your time. Focus on your goals, on what you intend to accomplish, um, your success and all of that. And he says, you'll reach your goals faster and gain control over time. And so when we think about time management and, and being more productive with our time, we are allowing other things to come in and dictate what our day looks like. Right. And when we we're training people how to treat us. So we're if if we get interrupted all day long, it's because we've trained people to interrupt us all day long. It's so true. If if we uh, you know if we're we're in a meeting and people start late and, and or show up late to every meeting, we allow it. We're training them to start late. See, you're starting. You're starting to yeah. get the picture. No, I am right? absolutely getting right? the picture. This is where where we have to just get a grip. It's not so much that we need to start making. I mean, I, I'm all for a calendar and I'm all for the checklist sure. and I'm all for that. But it's but it before you can even know what kind of calendar, before you can even know what kind of time management system or list maker or before that you've got to know what you where you're going and what that's going to look like and start to get control of the distractions that are keeping you from getting there absolutely all right nanny says plan your day and measure measure your measure the results that you achieve with your time so here's how it looks him the night before you know what your priorities are for the following day oh you should well, I you agree do. with that. <laughs> Absolutely. Then during the day, pay attention to what's stopping you from those things. So if you knew last night, no, let's not go back. You know tomorrow. Yeah. You, you start putting this plan of, okay, this is tomorrow. This is what success looks like. This is how I want to control my day and what I want it to be. So then tomorrow, pay attention to what are those things that are getting in the way. Are you, yeah, absolutely. Are you uh, being distracted by various things? And... And again, Darren Hardy talks about how we all have social media as a big distractor, email, the the notifications that come in as it's dinging us. Right. Those are constant di- di- distractions from actually focusing on, on what, what matters the most to us. You know, there's techniques where you can set a timer and, and you know, turn off all your distractions or shut the door and say for 90 minutes. But but more than it's not so much that I don't think that we're working hard or right. wanting to get the work done. It's that so many other things are distracting us and we've got to get control of the distractions and not let them not let them be there. So make sure you set yourself up for a win every single day by knowing, you know, by, by planning tomorrow before you end today. There it is. All right, gang, don't go anywhere. We've got uh, another hour of positive business talk yet ahead right after the top of the hour news. You're listening to Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. This is the home of Experience Pros Radio. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact the Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or contact them on the web at experiencepros.com or on Facebook and Twitter at Experience Pros. If your customers love you, we want to know you. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. GDNT or Meta Denver. Denver's only business radio station, Money Talk, 1690 AM.
The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 and MoneyTalk1690.com. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 and MoneyTalk1690.com. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. Best selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing, it's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello, friends, and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business, and your business is our business. I find how do you do to you? Dynamite. Di- dynamite. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I haven't heard that since uh, Jimmy Walker uh, uh, back in the day. I don't think I've said it since uh, <laughs> since then, right? I don't know where that came from, but but it's all good. It's all good. Um, you know, we had we host a couple of networking events every single month. We even yeah. host virtual networking events, a virtual leads group, a virtual mastermind. And what do you mean by virtual? What is by that? virtual, I mean we do it online, which means you don't have to get in your car. You don't have to put you. You don't have to change out of your bunny slippers. You don't have to get in your car and deal with traffic, find a parking spot and uh, walk into a room. You can do it right where you are, no matter where you are. I don't know about traffic in other parts of the country, but Denver's getting to be pretty horrific. And I know it's nothing compared to other parts of the country because people come here and tell us like we don't know. But there's a lot of construction going on and there's, you know, there's, there's been a lot of influx of people coming into the state. Let's just say there's no traffic. It's still going to take you 20 minutes to get in your car to go across town to go to the networking event to go get your uh, 50 business cards and then uh, come, come back. And so we're, we're kind of cutting the, um, all the busy work out yeah, and, and getting just right to the network, getting right down to the networking. Yeah. But, but there's still a lot of value in showing up and doing face-to-face networking, but because we do so many events a month, we are just trying to be super sensitive of one year time. And to the fact that we know that we reach far more than just the South Metro Denver area now. And so we're doing a lot to cater to we, on our last event, uh, our last uh, online group that we put together, we had somebody from Australia, Somebody from uh, Seattle, mm-hmm. somebody from Florida, right. all in the same call. Right. And it was pretty amazing. Uh, but when you do go to an actual networking event, and there's a lot of benefit of that face-to-face conversation that happens, that organic conversation right. that happens when you're on, a, it's even different than when you're on the phone or on a Zoom call. Because the face to face, there's some longevity of while you're standing in sure. front of each other yeah, that just got, allows for, for longer and more organic conversations to happen. Uh, well, Colleen DeBase, she says that networking goes hand in hand with running a successful business. And she has acquired, she actually works with the Nas- National Association of Women, Women Business Owners in Philadelphia. And she has put together what she calls her most valuable tips that she's come across when it comes to networking over the last few years. You bet. Number one is resist the urge to arrive late. It's almost counterintuitive, but showing up early at a networking event is actually a much better strategy than getting there on the later side. Why? When Don't just wait around the edges of the room for somebody to approach you. I know it looks like everybody there is engaged and they've known each other for years and they're the bestest of friends. Right. But most likely they just met each other tonight. 
this is the one this is the one social activity that it's okay for you to to interrupt you think it's rude to go and enter a conversation, but this is, it's expected. It's expected. Can I, may, may I join you? May I join you? Is that you? all right? Yeah. May, yeah. And, and everybody's like, yes, because they're there to meet new people too. And you're new people. Right. So, so they want you to join. And so make sure you, you, you jump into a group. And I know if you've never networked before, you're not really comfortable with it or super familiar with it. It seems awkward. And is this okay? But I promise you two or three times and you're yeah, like, yeah. oh yeah, I got this You'll now. be a pro. Number three, ditch the sales pitch. And boy, we agree with that 100%. Networking is all about relationship building, not selling. No one's going to buy your product there. So ditch the sales pitch altogether and instead uh, keep it light, fun, informal. Ask some carrying our electronic calendars so we can all set our appointments right there on the spot. Absolutely. It used to be we had to go back to the office where we kept our calendars, right? Or or maybe we had somebody I'm still else schedule using that one. Somebody else do our scheduling for us, but we all we're all self schedulers <laughs> schedulers now. And but it is at, when you have some filtering questions and prepared filtering questions. You know, one of ours is is how do people hear about you? How do people find out about your business? Right. So you find out how fascinating they are and they tell you all that great stuff. And how do people find out about you? Because we do marketing, we put you on the radio, we've got a networking group, we've got this all. That's the the, the, the service we provide. Yep. When they say, well, that's the problem, they don't, nobody does, right. I'm having trouble, or it's all word of mouth, I haven't tapped into any other thing. That lets me know this is a potential, you know, this could be a potential client for me. Why don't we schedule a time to meet in, you know, later, next week, you know, tomorrow, whenever it is, and follow that conversation? If they say, you know what, I'm good because, you know, I can only work with three clients and I'm packed right now. You know what? I know we can still have a valuable conversation. I can still refer them. They can still refer me. But at least now I know not to frame it in a way uh, that they're a right now, right now potential customer. Right. They, you know, but eventually those three customers might pop off and then they might need me. So I know how to nurture that, nurture that relationship. There you go. Share your passion and smile. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what. When you're enthusiastic about something, it shows, right? You remember the, uh, the what was the old song? If you're happy and you know it. Clap your hands. Clap your hands, right? How about this one? Notify your face. That's it. Smile. <laughs> uh, you know, when one of our producers early on in the program used to say, uh, smile big every mm -hmm. time we'd go on the air because you can tell the difference. You know if somebody's happy or if somebody's a little grumpy. And uh, so today you might have had a, a, a tough time leading into that uh, networking event. Leave all that at the front door. And when you go in, smile and be prepared to share why you got into what you're getting into. Even if you haven't had a bad day, so often we're not walking around with a perma smile on our face. Right. We're really walking around with a perma frown. Yeah. And, and so even if nothing bad happened, you just kind of walk in and the energy, you, you don't bring that positive energy with you. And so the same that you do before you pick up the phone and make a phone call, right? We smile. Before you walk into the room, you put on that smile. Right. And even if you, it, and probably because you're already feeling great, it'll just I'll notify the room that you're in a good mood. Um, but it also helps to remind you that you're in a good mood and a good place to have these this engaging conversation. You bet. Don't hijack the conversation. We're talking about some tips for networking and how to handle networking events, especially for those of you who shy away from entering a room full of people. And you know, it's interesting. Everybody has their idea of what the perfect size room is for networking. Oh, sure. Like we don't want 150 people too big. We don't want 12 too small. You know, we kind of all become Goldilocks, right? And this one's too hot and this one's too small, <laughs> right? And, and we want that perfect number. Right. And, and, and so I think a room with like 30 or 40 people is ideal for networking because if you feel the energy, you hear the buzz. And you can meet everyone and if you, you want meet, to. You can meet yeah. the majority of the people in the room. Yeah. But it, the only way you can do that is if you don't hijack the conversation. You know, and, and right next to the hijacking, we call it networking uh, drive-bys where people come through and uh, fling out their business cards and, you know, just hit and run, right? Don't do that either. It's so funny that people think, I mean, what do you really think is going to happen if you go in and say, here's my card, here's my card, here's my card. Do, 
do you really think we're all going to go, oh my gosh, yes, doing business with that person. <laughs> go straight to the trash Want to keep that. No. I mean, if they keep it, it's because they're going to flip it on you and add you to their newsletter. Ooh. Right? I mean, that's, I mean, why? <laughs> Okay, I'd rather you ask me my name than go on uh, that blah, blah, blah girl. Right. And then finally, if you want to be successful in a networking environment, you got to remember to follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. It is all in the follow up. And so, uh, you know, make sure that you reach out to the people that have given you their contact information. Tell them it was nice to meet with them and in. of within the event is the right time to follow up and it's more than that you're late we'll be back right after these messages you're listening to angel tussie and eric Raymer. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, This is the mic. I got it open and I turned the source off. Yep. Okay. Constantly, yet the only cool place in the house is the basement. My husband started insisting we buy a new air conditioner, and that's when I called the people at AirSwap. <laughs> AirSwap showed me my furnace and air conditioner are the right size for my house, and my air conditioner was working just fine. They adjusted our ductwork, created stronger airflow to distribute all that cool air in the basement. And this even helped us save electricity. The house is more comfortable in the winter as well. They reduced the big temperature difference between the floors, and now the upstairs is comfortable during the day and early evening. Call them at 303-761-0729 on the web at air-swap.com. 303-761-0729 or air-swap.com. Does your kitchen or bathroom need some updating? Have you been putting off that remodel? Well, now is a great time to get started. I'm Ted Spear, co-owner of All About Cabinets and Countertops at 35th and Wadsworth. And I'm inviting you to join our growing list of customers who have saved thousands of dollars on their kitchen and bathroom projects, even over those big box stores. Come experience our unique mix of top-of-the-line customer service quality products, and tremendous value. Right now, through the end of August, we're offering specials and upgrades, which will save you thousands of dollars off your cabinet and countertop purchases. Plus, as an additional bonus, we're upgrading all our cabinet drawers to the latest in anti-slam technology for free. These are just a couple of the ways you can complete your... Call 42-1386 for a thorough and free inspection for roofing done right to the last nail. Call Golden Spike Roofing. Call Golden Spike Roofing when your roof needs a fix. 303-942-1386. 
golden spike roofing. Hi, it's Peter Boyles. 2009, I see an ad in Denver Magazine for a place called Senogenics, and I give him a call, and I meet Dr. Julie McCallum. The rest is history. At the time, really, I was going through a hard time in my life, and again, I meet Dr. McCallum. She does so many changes for us. We did blood work, complete Senogenics, and we came up with all this customized planning for me that included, and still does include, workouts and eating plans and hormone nutritional supplements, and there's no magic pills. There's no magic milkshakes. You put in the work, you have the great doc, and you change your life. It does work. Again, ski all the time, ride your bike, ride your motorcycle, stay in the game, be an old guy, but you can still be a tough old guy, be thin, be mean, be back in the game. Senogenics caller, 720-387-3681, 720-387-3681. Speak to Jackie, that's her executive, and they'll arrange for a free 20-minute phone call. 20-minute gift, free phone call, call to get it off the ground, 720-387-3681. <laughs> This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Friends, and welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. We do love interacting with you live on the show. And one of the ways that we enjoy that interaction is by way of your comments on our Facebook Live video. We do film the program every single day, and it goes straight to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash experience pros. And we invite you to uh, to comment. Your comments often make it to the program as long as it's, uh, you know, connected to the show, what we're talking about in, in the uh the, the, and if it's not connected to the show, then they really make it to the show. Then, uh, yeah, then Eric, yeah. Eric enjoys the heck out, out of those. And I lose him. <laughs> no, I mean, no. I just lose him for like 30 seconds, but it's just enough to know, all right, where did he go? All right. All right so we're watching, we're watching the marketplace shift daily. Right. For, you know, when Eric and I started out several years ago with Experience Pros, we talked a lot about relationship marketing, Absolutely. how to gain and retain and how to build relationships with your clients to create that loyal, uh, that loyal customer. So these days, when we talk about the customer experience and even some of some of the um, the businesses that are that are paving the way, uh, I actually heard a phrase and I didn't coin this, but calling it the Netflix economy. Oh, and here's what this looks like. Do you remember? Do you remember the days of going to the video store? I do, absolutely. Yeah, so I miss my neighborhood blockbuster. You know, my kids will be sitting on the couch and talking about watching a movie, and what do we want to watch? And none of us has to budge. Right. We we lift up our our hand to point at the TV and point. We, we start scrolling speak for into it. Now. Speak into it. Yeah, we can. <laughs> I want to watch something with, you know, you know, Matthew McConaughey in it. Right. Or I want to watch a comedy. I want to watch and off they come on TV. Yes. <laughs> but we used to have to walk through the aisles, right. and read a read a jacket. And, yeah. and but now with with Netflix. So it shifted. Now it's online. Now it's in the cloud and now it's at our fingertips and it's a subscription. And so, you know, membership has its privileges. Right. 83% of millennials these days have uh, three or four subscriptions that they subscribe to. Millennials have millennials. subscriptions that are mm -hmm. not, we're not talking like credit cards. Mm -mm. They got those too. Yeah, they uh, have. But, but subscriptions. Subscriptions. Yeah. So Netflix, right? Hulu. Uh, well, all you know, even all these um, boxes that are coming to your house now, right? The like, you do you get the shade? I the, do. Right? I got, yeah. I'm a part of the Dollar Shave Club, right? Right. You I get betcha. the birch box, yeah. and, and we're all, you know, we're all part of some subscription, and and it they're they're saying that it's it, it's a part of this Netflix economy. So when we think about the marketplace and what they're looking for, what consumers how they want to shop, I was saying right. to my husband, they want to do it like this. You bet. I want to just hit a button, you know, Amazon. 
I want to hit a button. I mean, it's one click, and that order is coming to me. And if you I, got Prime, you get one day shipping. And you get one or, day shipping. Or two day shipping. Or, or whatever but it's it all yeah. it's all quick and it's all easy. Even with Southwest, you know, the whole check in process. I I am sure other airlines do the same thing. Do you know? Can you check in and oh, I'm sure. get your boarding pass yeah, yeah. and all of that right I, there? I don't know. I I haven't flown anybody other than Southwest for over a year. I'm sure, and. But it's all to be super quick, super simple. And you know what else these these uh, this Netflix economy, when we talk about what these brands are doing, they do one thing. They do one thing, and it's super simple. And so I, I have this app on my phone that makes these little photo books. Now, I used to go online to a different online portal, you know, and I would download or upload or move over my pictures. Right, and, sure. You know, and then I take the you know, and, and modify and put text in there. And it was like scrapbooking, but online scrapbooking, right? And make these, you know, photo books. This new app takes the last 60 pictures and I can move them around. So if I don't like the last 60, I can add different ones, but from either my phone or my Facebook, and it sends me a photo album. Now I don't get to put all the text in there. And it only does 60. I can't do 59 pictures. I can't do 61. Every one is exactly the same, but it captures and it's simple. It's the Netflix economy. Isn't that interesting? And Uh, they're all, they're eight bucks. And I love that. I guess some friends listener, Nick would, would absolutely, uh, he he would tank me. He would torpedo me. uh, If, if, you know, sometimes my friends send me photos that are funny to boys. You know what I mean? I do. I do. Yeah. I, I, and, yeah. and, and Eric, so is, Eric we, it's definitely we get a in, boy. We get into the he boy might be humor. 50, but he's still a boy. Get into that boy humor. And uh, and and I could just see, here comes the, the photo book thing saying, oh, we grabbed the last 60. And so here it is. And we, put, we took the time to put it on your uh, sofa table where your mother-in-law comes by and opens it up to see. Yeah, you do get to Plus, pick. You do get to pick. Shoo! Apparently, you don't want the pictures Eric took. Don't in, want those on my a, phone. A, but I, we went to, uh, we went to Orlando. This was back in March. Yeah. Went to Orlando with my kids. Had spent a couple of days at Disney World. Yep. At the airport, I'm waiting for my flight to load. Right, you know, you kind of get there a little bit early before your flight sure. starts. What do you call it? Not loading. Boarding. Boarding. Thank yeah. you for my flight to board. You still got too many tabs open. I still do have too many tabs open. I'm sitting at the airport waiting for my flight to board from my vacation. I pull up the app, the last 60 pictures, all at Disneyland, click one and done. My photo album, before I even get on the plane to go home, is now being shipped and you know created and will be shipped to my house. And I'll have it before the end of the week. It's these kinds of technology that are leading the change. Low prices, high convenience, major perks. So when we think about our business and so many of us, you know, and, and experience pros, we're right at the head of this going, we're right there with you sure. because we do this, 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 and so much more keeping it simple and, and, and narrowing it down. So it's just a one click and a super easy. And I know what you do. And I click a button and it's, it's low price, high convenience. And, and this is where if you don't have this in the, in your Thinking process, right? You're gonna miss out, and you're gonna go by way of Kodak, Blockbuster. Who? Right? Yeah. Right. They're gone. Uh, They're gone because they didn't simplify. They didn't make it uh, relevant and current and contemporary, and above all else, easy. Right. Eighty. What it was? Eighty-three percent. Eighty-three percent have have three to four subscriptions. We probably have three to four subscriptions, and they're not I necessarily all a monthly fee, but most of them are. Um, you know, so many things these days. It, I can't tell you how many different business subscriptions we have. It's twenty bucks a month. It's twenty dollars. Oh, it's yeah. twenty nine. It's it thirty nine. It's forty nine. It's one fifty. It's two ninety nine. I mean, I, I have a lot of them. And after a while, I was saying to Eric, "Okay," and I said, "Well, yeah, but once we have ten of those, you know, that's like two hundred dollars." All right, okay, I guess that's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but in my head, I started. I was thinking it's really starting to add up. Absolutely. But, but then it really isn't. And yet we have all these great, all these great services. And so as you think about how can your business blend and take on and modify and take advantage of the Netflix economy. Very good. All right, gang, don't go anywhere. We've got more positive business talk and some really kicking shoes coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network.
America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. believes Obamacare was a death sentence. Because of the mandates, they were sold a plan that cost them so much in premiums. Some of those people likely... Keeping accounting and taxes, but somebody has to do it. Trust Teresa and her team at Luna's Accounting and Tax. Teresa and her team will take care of all your bookkeeping, accounting, and taxes. They'll keep you informed and streamline the process. Luna's Accounting and Tax keeps your business compliant and up to date, and they'll give you the great customer experience your customers have come to expect. Free your time and gain the peace of mind to keep your focus on your customers. They will help you too. Call Teresa at Luna's Accounting and Tax today. 720-323-4917 or visit lunastax.com that's lunastax.com that's lunastax.com se habla espanol this is a crime warning for home and property owners high property values have created a devastating crime called title fraud Thieves are targeting homes in your area. Take it from this retired FBI agent. Home title fraud is when a thief steals your identity and transfers your home's title to his name. Once he controls your title, he can take out a loan and stick you with the payments. He can change title so he inherits your home. He can even sell your home and evict you. Title insurance doesn't protect you. Neither does your bank or identity theft protection. I protect my home with home title lock and you should too. Home Title Lock forms a virtual perimeter around your home's title. The instant it detects activity to your home's title or mortgage, it's on it, helping to shut it down. If you own a home or property, get Home Title Lock. And to be sure you're not already a title fraud victim, get your home's title history a $60 value free with sign up. Visit HomeTitleLock.com and use promo code DEFEND. That's HomeTitleLock.com, promo code DEFEND. Hi, folks. Dan Cicchini. Oh my gosh, how could it be that we started Done Right Home Improvements way back in 1985 already? How could it be that three of our grandkids are now working in the business? Geez, we didn't have grandkids back then. And to think that we've designed, built, and installed tens of thousands of projects, how can that be, Todd? Dad, it's the things you've always taught us. Do good work, show up on time, price fairly, and above all, keep your promises. Our performance speaks for itself. Whether it's kitchens, baths, counters, or floors, or even replacement windows and doors, they have our word we'll treat them right at Dunright. You betcha, Todd. And with the weather like it is and today's incentives, that's right, incentives, now is the time to call and save a full 12% off all services for select install dates. 303-722-2295, 800-362-8370, or drhi.com. 303-722-2295. Hail and severe storm season is just around the corner, and that's why you need to call Golden Spike Roofing at 303-942-1386 for a thorough and free inspection for roofing done right to the last nail. Call Golden Spike Roofing. Call Golden Spike Roofing when your roof needs a fix. 
303-942-1386. Golden Spike Roofing. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Viles, the owner of Z Shoe Source, your online shoe destination featuring high heels and stilettos and a variety of other trending styles such as lace-ups, cylinder heels, sneaker high heels, party rhinestones. I'll tell you what, ladies, you want gorgeous shoes at affordable prices. Mm -hmm. Z Shoe Source is your one-stop shop. Affordable prices, range of sizes from five and a half to size 11 and even better free shipping on orders over $50. And we're here to talk about the Z Shoe Source Shoe Giveaway. Levon Mills, welcome to Experience Pros. Thank you. Glad to be here. Levon, I'm going to ask you to scooch real up to that microphone. There you go. All right. Uh, Fantastic (laughs) having you on the program. And I'll tell you something. I am so thrilled. I heard a new term that I have not heard in a very long time or maybe ever what is a cylinder heel, Levon? A cylinder heel yeah. is like a block heel. It is thicker than your than your stiletto. Stiletto, yeah, right. your pointed heel, and uh, it's not as high. Right. It's about three inches. I'm learning something new already. And she knows the height of all her heels because <laughs> you say the higher the heel. The better you feel. The better you <laughs> feel. I love that. All right, so the Z Shoe Source Shoe Giveaway. Tell me all about that. The Z Shoe Source Giveaway is Shoe Giveaway is a community event, reaching out to the community, giving back to the community. Community is what makes businesses work, especially small businesses. And we always want to give back to the ones who help get us where we are. You've heard the old saying of, if you see a turtle sitting on a fence post, you know, he didn't get there by himself. He didn't get there by himself. And so the community has gotten us where we are today and in myself. And I'm appreciative of the community that has been supportive to Z Shoe Stores. Okay, so so then how do we get involved and, and what what is the giveaway? The giveaway is giving away uh, all type of shoes for men, women, boys, and girls. Uh, the shoe giveaway come off on August the 5th. From 11 to 2 at Divine Love Christian Center, uh, Church of God in Christ at 10690 Del Mar Parkway. And it is reaching especially that community around the church. It is in the original Aurora. And in the original Aurora community, the, the income is just a little bit less than some of the other areas of Aurora. And so we want to make sure we are reaching out to them. Everybody needs some help sometime or another. And we want to be there I for them. That. All right. So, that. so then, Levon, what can we do? I imagine we could probably donate shoes. Donate yeah. shoes. We are having our donation drive going on right now. Uh, I know various uh, et- ethnicities are uh, helping me, such as Experience Pros and Certus. And what they're doing is they're collecting shoes at their special events. Also, you can bring your shoes to Divine Love Christian Center on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock on Sunday mornings from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. All right. So if if somebody needs information about the event and donating shoes, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you, Levon? The best way to get in touch with me is to give me a call at 720-737-4209. That is the shoe source. I love that. What do you anticipate the the need is, you know, how, how many pairs of shoes do you anticipate giving away at the giveaway? Last year, we collected over 200 pairs of shoes. Wow. We gave over 90% of those shoes away. And then we had shoes left over also, well, especially picked out mm-hmm. to give to Dress for Success. 
for women who are getting back into the business market. And so we were able to get most of those shoes out. We had people to come and try on shoes just as if they were in the shoe store. That's they sweet. went from one pair of shoes to the other and just had a good time. Yeah, Dress for Success, another worthy organization and yes, glad to see is. that you're partnering with them, which, you know, the, the way that you partner with the, the, the organizations and the community is, is amazing and noteworthy. Levon, you, you brought some show and tell. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, gotta talk to me about those uh, black and white uh, heels there. What, what, what am I looking at there? Because that, those are These stunning. These are black and white mules. They are three and a half inches high. These are the most comfortable shoes. Black and white dye lace up shoes. You can't beat it with these. They are st- uh, show stoppers. People will see you far before you enter in. Mm -hmm. And so you don't want to miss out with having a pair of these shoes to rock your fashion. I know they are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. And I know I've got a lot of shoe gals out there that we know the outfit, it it all goes around the shoe. And when we're traveling and when we're packing, everything is about the shoe. Those are just dynamite. I love the lace up on that. Do they happen to be like size five and a half? Uh, we do carry size five and a half All to right. size 10. Mm-hmm. So thinking, whatever your size is, you can get a pair of these beautiful. I was shoes. going to slip them on. And Angel's wearing a black and white uh, dress right now. So going to just put them on for, for her right while you were talking. Right for, for, for show and tell. <laughs> All right. So those yes. are beautiful. What else you got for us? I have the sparkling sequin. Uh, pa- um, Stiletto. Uh, stilettos. Yeah. Platforms, royal blue. Platform. Royal blue. Wow. These are most beautiful for a starry night out on the town. Look at or, the size of that platform. How how tall is that heel? That heel is five and a half inches. Yeah, almost is. six. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but it's on a platform, so you're but, not up six inches. No, you're not. You are. I mean, you but, are, but your your arch isn't up six that's inches. That's right. <laughs> Platforms make these high heels much easier to wear. They're very comfortable when you have a platform. They so are gorgeous. you don't want to miss this. These Look at how are beautiful. Gorgeous. Yes, they yes, are beautiful. yes. I love those. Those are beautiful. Z shoe source. So the letter Z. The word shoe, yes. the word source, yes. zshoesource.com, zshoesource.com. And Levon, you started this as a way to give back to the yes. community. That was my inspiration for starting this business is to give away shoes to those who are less fortunate and those who are needy. Right. And so fortunately, I have been able to do that each year. Well, these shoes are gorgeous and they're amazing. And I'll tell you something, uh, Levon, you know, you know, this in the business community, uh, your style is your very first calling card, right? Yes. When you walk in the door, if you've got, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm probably not the word. It's fabulous that you're doing in the community. Z Shoe Source is, uh, has the giveaway going on. And then, as I said, that will come off on August the 5th. But on August the 1st, we're having a hot summer deal that will take off for 25% off on selected styles. You want to make sure you click in, get your size before they're all gone. Wow. Uh, make sure you get in on this deal throughout the month of August, 25% off using the discount code HOT DEALS. 
25. Hot deals, 25. I love this. 25% yes. off. It just boggles my mind that that uh, that you can afford to do that. But what a yes. great way to get initiated and acquainted with zshoesource.com yes. uh, and what, a, what beautiful shoes. Absolutely. zshoesource.com. Hot deals 25 is the code that you want to use to get your deal. And if you want to donate shoes to the community, lots of locations around town, you can even connect with us here at Experience Pros and we'll make sure that we get those. And I know we're talking about women's shoes and, and even giving the extras to dress for success. But I also know you have an em- extra emphasis on kids sneakers as well. You would like. Yes, we are collecting kids sneakers and I have been asking for those especially because we want to give away kids sneakers at the beginning of the year. That gives some parents that extra support because kids want to look sharp in their shoes as well. As they're going and back sneakers to school. back to school. That's yeah. important for them. All right. Zshoesource.com. All the information available off that website as well. Levon, thank you for joining us. What a privilege it is to have you in the program. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Angel. It's All wonderful right. to be here. Folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk right after these messages. You're listening to Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. This is the Experience Bros Radio Network. The Experience Bros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Will your current career path lead you to financial independence? Stop worrying about working till you drop, losing your job, or retiring in poverty. It's simple. Register for our free passive income workshop and learn the seven principles we use to provide for our families and run out. Colorado only team that's helped hundreds of homeowners to remodel their present outdated house, turning it into a home of their dreams without the trauma and expense of an unnecessary move. We have very affordable options to help you remodel your kitchen, bath, even scary basement with no money out of pocket, often even lowering your interest rate to boot. Call me and my local team for a painless five minute conversation to see how quickly you can be in your own dream home. Our number 303-500-1900. That's 303-500-1900. Or visit frontrangemortgage.com. NMLS number 378844, regulated by the Division of Real Estate. is indoors. And why done right? The best answer to why is why not. Todd? Well, Dad, there's no reason not to, but lots of reasons too, such as top quality windows and doors, built to size and fit many budgets, lots of color and style options, expert installers that are employees, not subcontractors, decades in business, fair pricing, satisfaction guaranteed, and the list goes on. Oh, and at Dunright, they'll find full service installations, completely finished, nothing left for them to do, but enjoy. And of course, Todd, we've got to mention our highly efficient, beautiful patio doors. So folks, give us a call. Kitchens, baths, counters, and floors. And of course, replacing windows and doors, you have our word, we'll treat you right at Dunright. 303-722-2295, 800-362-8370, or dunrightwindows.com. Tired of paying high energy bills? Gravina Windows and Siding at 950 West Evans in Denver can help. Replace those old worn out windows. Huge selection. Anderson Fibrex, Pella, Great Lakes, and more. Over 50 lines of vinyl wood and fiberglass windows and doors. Check out our composite window, the EcoSmart. It's up to 100% more energy efficient. Lifetime manufacturer's warranty. Our glass package is at least.
I think that applies directly to personal injury and wrongful death cases. If you're not represented by a highly accomplished law firm, the insurance company is probably going to eat you for lunch and you'll never even know it. So if you want to make sure that you and your claim are treated with the respect you deserve, give me a call. We are a serious firm for serious cases. And for 30 years, we have proven our ability to go up against the best the other side has to offer and to win. Our personal injury clients include everyone from the poorest of the poor to CEOs, teachers, farmers, police officers, doctors, lawyers, and professional athletes. We are able to make the vast resources of our firm available to good people from all walks of life by taking righteous cases on a percentage fee basis. You can reach me at 303-770-5551. That's 303-770-5551 or dancaplislaw.com. That's dancaplislaw.com. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. We do thank you for tuning in. It is uh, America's Home for Positive Business Talk. And Angel, I want to talk a little bit uh, about online reviews. Uh, we are, you know, I don't know if we're, are we still in Web 2.0 or are we in Web 3.72? I never uh, knew what Web 2.0 meant. Yeah. It, but, but, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, you hear these buzzwords and yeah. people throwing them around. I'm like, I don't even know what that means. Well, I just know we use the internet. We do use the internet, and the internet now uh, uses us in in bigger ways than we could ever imagine. Web 2.0 was uh, a phrase that kind of became popular back in the day, uh, and by the day, I'm talking about eight years ago or so, when um, social media came on the scene, and all of a sudden, the way we do business, the way we interact with each other using the internet really was uh, had changed. I mean, it transitioned. I think we're still in Web 2.0 technically, but it feels like there's been so much growth in the area that uh, we should be 3.72. Here's my point. Online business, or not online business, business in general is beholding today to their online reviews. Oh, no kidding. Right? No kidding. And that good or bad, it is. Well, you know, we, we, it just we, is. we teach something uh, at Experience Pros University. We teach that one of three things is, is going to happen. When a customer encounters your business, when you have an opportunity to serve somebody, one of three things is going to happen. They're going to say something nice. Which we are, that's our number one goal is to hope that they go out and tell somebody else. And for so many business owners who don't have a marketing budget, that's what they're counting on. Absolutely. The other thing is they're going to go out and say something horrible. Which is, scares the bejeebies out of everybody because right? they might say something horrible. Even if we didn't really even do something horrible, they might just their bad mood cause them to want to say something horrible. And then the, the third thing that could happen is that they will say nothing at all. And for most business owners, they're probably going, shoo, I got nothing out of that. Thank goodness. We're not creating a viral video hot mess. Let's go back to Web 2.0 or 3.72. You do want them to say something. You do not want them to say nothing at all. Look, uh, if I go into a restaurant and I order food and it comes out hot and it's been made fresh and they serve me in a timely manner and the food was not toxic, I got what I expected. But did I get great service? Was it amazing? You want people to say something. You want people to say something and motivate them to, to, to be amazed and then to vocalize that. You know, because you've worked so hard to bring that customer in through you know, previous efforts of networking, marketing, uh, you know, winning over the customer. You've put, spent money. You've spent time. You've spent resources, your staff branding, all of that to get them into your door. Right. If they go out the door and say nothing, then you have not created a, a raving fan. You have not recreated a repeat customer. You
because I need a, re- a reference and they'll take it from people they haven't even That's met right. yet. And so when we talk about building our network and building out, uh, you know, our, our, our marketing, the more people we know means the more strangers we have access to you know and and that's a good thing right there all right so uh came across a great article that was uh written up on uh uh, by dan scalco uh he is the founder and director of growth at digit digitalux and he wrote this he says here's how to make online reviews really work for your business number one emphasize quality you know, I've got a, a good friend whose business truly rides the wave of the reviews that he gets, and he has hundreds of them. And on the occasion when he gets a negative one, and it's a very, very rare occasion, here's the one truth that we know. It never touches quality. It's always a matter of timeliness, right? Mm-hmm. It took longer than I expected. In this case, though, if you emphasize quality, um, it goes way beyond star ratings. It st- talks to the integrity of the business itself. Well, so often, if you you can leave a star rating, right? And and we talked about this yesterday or earlier this week on the program with Pam Atherton, that when you put in a star, the stars have no value. We don't really know what the stars mean because a, f- a four star from Angel is different than a four star from right. Eric. And, and she talked about there are people out there that, will never give a five star Correct. or because it's not their highest quality. It's not the Ritz or something, you know, of this highest quality, they're not ever going to give it a five star. So when you allow for customers to do, to give more information than just a star, then you get to hear their story. Why did they give a star? I read a, I read an, a survey. Uh, I was reviewing a pair of shorts that I had purchased um, from a store yeah. and there was somebody who had given these I really want to focus the rest of our time on this one right here. Studies find that when it comes to customer reviews, the more the better. So if you're starting with zero reviews and you don't have a lot out there, uh, having 10 reviews can significantly boost your traffic and people's interest in your business. But what if you got above 50? The uh, the average person in the extreme customer service directory with experience pros has 35 reviews. And if you got above 50, imagine the overwhelming uh, tidal wave of confidence. 